If you want to sail in college, there are a lot of choices out there, but few to none offer the opportunities that we have at the Coast Guard Academy. I chose to come to the Coast Guard Academy because I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. I wanted to be challenged every day. Um, I really wanted to travel. Uh, I think the price was right. Um, there was no, no other opportunity for me to get the education I'm getting here. Being in that structured environment that breeds success and that want to be better, and there's really no place like that for Coast Guard. I met a lot of people on the team and I met the coaches and I knew that this is, this is the team that I wanted to be a part of. At the Coast Guard Academy we have an outstanding staff of coaches. My name is Mark Zagel. I'm Brian Swingley. My name is Doug Clark. My name is Jack Meads. Jason LeBlanc. The coaching is excellent. I feel like Mark and Brian complement each other well. Mark Zagel is one of our sailing coaches. He has just a passion for sailing and it's awesome to be able to work with someone who just wants perfection and demands it out of you. Uh, Brian Swingley is our other coach. He spends a lot of time with the women's team and he's just got a really treasured spot in our hearts, I guess. We're so glad to always have him with us. And I think they're definitely the best coaches we could possibly have. They're both um, really experienced and I've learned so much from them over the course of you know, three and a half years and they're always available to help you whenever you want, whatever you want to work on. Um, in free periods or during practice individually, so they've been really great. We're a full year sport. We start practice as soon as classes begin in August. Our first competition is the weekend after Labor Day, and then the fall season we sail through November. In the winter time we have a little bit of off period where we'll do winter workouts and team meetings, and then we'll get rolling again in February and March for our spring break training trip followed by the spring season which lasts through May. Sailing at Coast Guard is, is a unique atmosphere. We have practices four days a week. We practice Tuesday through Friday. Uh, practice begin at three o'clock. We typically start with a pre-practice, pre-brief. Practice till about six o'clock at the dock. Uh, just enough time for a post-practice debrief. Uh, and then the kids are back up the hill for, uh, for dinner. Tuesdays and sometimes Thursdays we have a team meal down uh, at Jacob's Rock, so we're able to sail a little bit longer and then have the team eat down at the waterfront so that we can go over video and kind of talk about some extra things on those days. One of the things that's nice about the Coast Guard Academy is that everything is set. From, from day one, you walk in the front door, uh, you have one of the finest facilities, you have some of the finest equipment, sails, boats, gear, uh, all at your fingertips, and, and all you have to focus on is the actual sailing at hand. I feel like we have one of the best, best venues and best facilities. Our sailing center is called Jacob's Rock. We call it the Rock just for short. Uh, it's located on the Thames River and it is a beautiful facility. Uh, the boats are right on docks, right on the water. You just have to push them right in. When I leave class, I change and run down, then change into my sailing gear. We can rig in probably under five minutes and we're on the water. A lot of our competitors have a longer block of time during the day that they're able to sail. However, we are right on campus. It's a, literally a two minute walk down from the uh, cadet's dorm. From class, 15 minutes and I'm already on the water. What we may lose in a total block of time, we make up for in efficiency getting out on the water and having an accurate practice plan. The Thames River is a pretty, pretty tricky place to sail. We can go south and be in open water, or big waves, big wind. We can go north to be in flat water and no current. We can be on the far side of the river be in lots of current. All of those conditions in one venue makes for well-rounded sailors. At different venues you have to sail either 420s or FJs and here we have both. We have 25 FJs, 25 420s, 
We have five lasers, and then we have various other boats, such as tech dinghies, larks, and hopefully fireflies soon. For whatever venue that we're going to on the weekend, you're able to train during practice the week before. We also have a fleet of Colgate 26s, which are used for intercollegiate sloop competition, as well as the offshore sailing team. And then we have a fleet of brand new, purpose-designed and built Leadership 44 sail training craft. Well, I think the thing that makes the sailing team so special here at the Coast Guard Academy is just the variety of boats and programs that we have to offer. We've got everything from the intercollegiate dinghy team to the big boat sailing team to our cruising programs that take place during the summer. So we really we cover the gamut from small local events to uh, intercollegiate day sailing type races to international offshore events like, say, the Newport to Bermuda race. Being the largest sloop venue in the New England region, uh, gives our cadet sailors the opportunity to compete against some of the uh, strongest college sailors in the country and the largest region in the country. And we also host a tremendous amount of events here at the Academy, including match racing, which is an exciting new trend in college sailing. We've got a lot of support here, not only through the, the waterfront uh, division itself, but the entire Academy and, in fact, the entire Coast Guard. I'm uh, Captain John O'Connor. I am the Commandant of Cadets at the United States Coast Guard Academy. Uh, in that capacity, I'm in charge of cadet life and professional development uh, as cadets prepare to be professional mariners in the United States Coast Guard. Uh, part of my responsibility uh, is the waterfront in the sailing programs. At the uh, Coast Guard Academy, sailing is not just a sport. It's uh, actually part of the cadets' overall education, seamanship, navigation, teamwork, leadership are all encompassed in what we do in every one of our sailing programs here at the Waterfront. We offer each cadet an opportunity to sail from the time they report aboard until the time they graduate. That Coast Guard Academy sailing continuum is unmatched. There's nothing else like it in the nation or possibly the world. I look forward to going to sailing practice because I get to hang out with my best friends all afternoon. I don't think I could have gotten through the Academy without being on this team. It's done so many great things for me. If it weren't for the team, I feel like I wouldn't have passed calculus. Being able to have those people on the team that I can go to if I, if I need help in anything, really. It's an awesome community to be a part of, and when I look back at my time at the Academy, I'm going to remember the people that I sailed with. As is the case at all military academies, our graduates have a five-year commitment to the Coast Guard upon completing their time here. However, our alumni are able to find plenty of sailing opportunities across the country and even sometimes the world. Our officers, our graduates, are going to be stationed in uh, coastal communities all around the United States and uh, will have ample opportunity to sail. So they're able to sail at their local yacht clubs, sail at the national level, sail at the international level, even while serving in the Coast Guard. This year we've had a lot of ensigns that have been able to come back and coach, so that's a possibility for me. This team has done so much for me and I hope that I can give that back in the future. What are we looking for in the next Coast Guard sailor? We're looking for sailors of all levels. The only requirement that we have is that you're willing to work hard and be dedicated to the team. The determination to succeed at the top level of sailing, someone who is willing to learn, uh, someone who is eager to take their sailing to the next level, to utilize the coaching staff and, and the, the amazing platforms that we have at the Coast Guard Academy. And all we're looking for is someone who's willing to work as hard as they can to become a better sailor. Really because it's a unique institution, um, the, the best way to really get a feel is to come for a visit. The best way to get in touch with us is to visit our athletics website. All the coaches information is online and we'd be happy to hear from you. Everything is in place here at the Coast Guard Academy to bring you to your highest sailing potential. As a senior leader at the United States Coast Guard Academy, my staff and I are committed to having a top-notch national sailing program. As superintendent, I am committed to building the very best intercollegiate sailing program in America. My number one priority as Director of Sailing is to have the dinghy team continue to improve on the success that we've had the last several years and to make that success sustainable over the next 20 or 30 years. These next few years are really going to, to be great for the Coast Guard Academy Sailing Team.
you want to compete at the highest level, sail against the sailors in the toughest district, and practice on the best venue college sailing has to offer, Coast Guard might be for you.